everybody. We got a special guest. They are the most successful all-female Irish group in history. We're talking about the Celtic woman. We have Megan Walsh, lead soprano for the team. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me on. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Okay, so we got to start with the tour that's coming here to Indianapolis, returning, uh, and is highlighting uh, your new album, Postcards from Ireland. Tell us about that. Yeah, it is. So this is our brand new album that we created uh, in 2021. We're super, super happy with it. Um, it's called Postcards from Ireland because we wanted to pick songs that really tell a story and that we can share all over the world, like little postcards. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful album and we can't wait to bring it out on the road. What can people expect uh, from this tour? It's, it's obviously new material. Everything is new. What can people expect? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of new material on this tour as well as the fan favorites. Uh, you know, we can't do a show without Danny Boy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think that the Celtic Woman shows are just known to be, you know, huge spectacles. We've got amazing sets and dancers and we've got a live band and these beautiful Irish instruments. We've got dresses. We've got everything, you name it. And then obviously there's, you know, us four women at the front just giving it our all. So I think it really is a big spectacle. Um, speaking of big, Celtic Woman has sold over 10 million CDs and you've been named Billboard Magazine's number one world music artist of the year six times. What do you feel like that says about uh, what you guys have done and accomplished? And of course, the crossover classical music. I mean, it's incredible. I think that Celtic Woman has been an incredible platform for Irish women uh, to showcase their talents over the years. And uh, it's just become this huge thing. You know, it was meant to be a one night thing that turned into nearly 17 years later and people are still coming to the shows. Uh, so obviously we're doing something, something right. Um, and we're just very, very grateful for it. Yeah, I, I can definitely confirm you're definitely doing something right. <laughs> okay. What do you feel like, uh, what performers have inspired you personally? Um, oh, there's just so many. I actually like freeze when people ask me this question because mm -hmm. there's been so many over the years. My mm -hmm. biggest influences especially when I was younger I adored Eva Cassidy um I think she would have been my biggest influence growing up and Dolly Parton as well you've played Mary Magdalene and Jesus Christ Superstar Cosette in Les Miserables and you've even performed at Carnegie Hall how do you yes. measure that success with all those cool things happening I mean, that was a crazy time in my life. I never expected to do any of those things. I'm just so grateful for it. And they've all led me to where I am now. So I'm so grateful for everything that, that happened back then. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing it for many more years to come. <laughs> yeah. For you on this tour, what do you enjoy the most about being out on the road, touring, going from city to city? I mean, there's just so many things. Uh, just being work, doing what we love every night is incredible getting to get up there and sing in front of audiences is just an amazing feeling and I get to do it with a really incredible bunch of people as well uh, people are always like do you really get on with the girls but we actually are a, a big family on the road and it's like getting to have sleepovers with your friends every night and uh, then getting to get up and sing a few songs in the evening and it's just it's so much fun and I'm very grateful now, Megan, usually I wouldn't ask, but I'm curious. I want, can, can I hear a little bit of that lead soprano voice? Just, just, a, just a little smidget, just a little something. Oh, my God, you put me on the spot here. Because, <laughs> you know, oh I, do a little, I do a little woo. I, you know, I can get up there, too, a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You got that. <laughs> You'll be joining us in our next show. <laughs> you, you know, you know I'm, a, I'm a good backup, 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 backup. Yeah, like, fifth yeah. string, you need something? Come in. I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm calling you. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Megan, thank you so much for joining us and good luck on the tour. We know you guys are going to knock it out the park. Oh, thank you so much. And thanks so much for having me on. No problem. Oh, man. Ooh.